are you guys doing this afternoon? All right, I am here with my girlfriend Kia. Hey, girl. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna talk about a subject that has been around forever. Ever. Yes, and is no right or wrong, but we're gonna kind of kick back, relax, enjoy the conversation about work life balance. Is there such a thing? <laughs> And because you've heard so much, you know, you work and we work and we work, but then you also want to have a life. So how do you combine the two to make our, ourselves happy? And that's going to be hard. Girl, I don't know the answer. <laughs> I'm just doing me. You're just doing you. <laughs> right, right, right. Because it's so many different, it's so many different ways. So let's, that is true. let's look at our situations. Key and I work together. Oh, we work together for about... Six years now? Yeah, six years. Six years. And Kia has little ones. I have a six-year-old and an eight-year-old. All right. And so, and I, my oldest and all of my kids are grown now, but I have been through that whole work life, getting off work, trying to run before the daycare closes. I'm trying right to now. Right. Trying to find five minutes be between checking homework and baths and <laughs> cooking food. And cooking and everything. And then you you realize there is no time for us. So for what do you do? For me time. For me time. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you are, are d dealing with now trying to balance out having a career, you know, having some time for yourself, working out maybe, and then also having that time with the kids. So what do you fall into? Kind of talk about what is your routine, your time you get up in the morning, and, and then I'll tell you how it was for me you know, like 20 some years ago. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. Um, having a six year old girl and an eight year old boy is very difficult. Um, getting them up in the morning, sometimes they don't want to get up. And it's like, look, dude, I don't even want to get up. Okay? <laughs> you need to get up. Um, just getting them on time to school uh, so that they can be productive. Um, and then ultimately getting myself to work on time mm -hmm. so that I can be productive. Mm -hmm. um, I do feel that getting to work early helps me personally, okay. um, take care of all of my personal needs, um, get a jump on any past emails that I've taken um, you know, light of and I can answer those, mm -hmm. um, kind of preparing the day. Um, what I've actually um, taken a light to, which is about three weeks now, thanks to my girl, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> she recommended kickboxing classes. So yes. I have been kickboxing. All right, all right. Uh, ah, uh, kick. Uh, <laughs> uh, girl, yes, let me tell yes. you. Yes. Hold on, let me, I got to sip to that. Yep. Oh, hey, hey, hey. When you have to find time, your yes. day, and, and I will recommend any type of workout, but I love kickboxing. It was, it's a good stress reliever. So when you get in really those is. stress days, and you need a bag instead of a person. <laughs> um, I would suggest kickboxing, um, and and it's a good workout. And like I said, it, it works out every uh, total body total body workout. And again, it's, it's it's stress. And so you you look at you look at Kia, and and like I said, my kids are older, but I went through that whole getting them up in the morning. They're fighting about getting up. They're fighting about what they want to wear, especially. Mm independent ones they mm. they don't they want to wear what they want to wear wanna wear this mommy <laughs> not today not today <laughs> right right um and so then you look at that the kids are off the school you're at work and then your mind is constantly you're trying to you know work out what you have to, if you have a stressful job and then if the school calls and all of that things and then you gotta you know ask your boss of like can you leave early to pick them to up from, pick them up pick them up from daycare I did all of that. Or if they're mm. sick and then you have to take time off to take from care work. of them. Yeah. And then you look at work like, oh, well, don't look at me differently that I can't do the work because I have to tend to my home. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And so then you get home. Then you have dinner. Then you have check in homework. Then you have bath. And you look at this. It's like 11 o'clock before you actually sit down and saying that Should I, I need have some time. Some, and if you're married, if you have a mate. Right. And then you're. Then you're looking, the whole day is gone. So what can we do? You find five minutes. I used to, <laughs> my son would tell you, now they, we can laugh about it. When he was younger and I needed just a day, a mental day from either work 
or or kids or just take care of some personal stuff I would get up take him to school and I would not have on my work clothes so he would get to school and in his mind he was probably about six or seven he was like mm, I guess mommy's not going to work today I would get a call by the time I got back home from the nurse saying that he was sick oh, I'm thinking you're not sick you're fine he tricked me twice <laughs> So then I would have to spend the whole day with him home, and, and he just wanted to be home. So you have to get smart, ladies. I got dressed Girl. when I needed a mental day. I would get dressed like I'm going to work, put on my business attire, drop him off at school, say have a good day, go home, <laughs> and take off my things and relax and do some things, and he was fine at school. So you have to find little tricks and traits for your kids because they will trick you to try to be home with you all the time. That is absolutely correct. And Karen, I like what you said. Taking a mental day, that is key. And don't be afraid to do mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You yeah. need it. Yeah. This whole work-life balance is really serious because if you do not take time and do a stress relief for yourself, your health can ultimately suffer. Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. You know, I went through a situation in my job, um, a previous job, where I was under a, a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. A lot mm -hmm. of stress, and I did not de stress. Right, right, right. So, you know, this. It can cause high blood pressure, it can cause um, mood swings, it can oh. cause you to, to carry on what you're doing in your work, can carry on into your life, and then there is no balance. So, she's absolutely right. That is that jobs, jobs are stressful. Some jobs are very stressful than others. But if you do not do certain things that you enjoy, um, your health will be affected. Yeah, you gotta bring a smile to your face. Um, I went through a situation where um, my supervisor was very demanding, uh, very micromanaging, and it ultimately brought a uh, condition on to myself to where I was um, dealing with um, a lot of stress. And I broke out in hives, and I didn't know, you know, ultimately what to do or how mm -hmm. to stop it mm -hmm. because it was something that I was enduring every single day. Right. And you and wanted to give your all to the job, and you didn't know how to stop that. And exactly. say no. And say no. And say no. Mm -hmm. um, so ultimately, the doctors um, prescribed me three days of no work. <laughs> There is such is, thing. Exactly. Which, which right. was what I needed. What you needed. Right. You know, do right. not get up to an alarm clock. Do not have to run through um, dropping the kids off and dressing. Do not have to run through traffic, uh, fight traffic. <laughs> traffic, um, yes. You know, exactly. and just doing the job. And just those three days were able, my body was able to relax, release, and recharge. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I definitely, I highly recommend. Yeah. You know, and vacationing. Hello. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sign me up, me. But when you go on vacation, 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 vacate, vacate. <laughs> now the word. Now they call it. What is it? A staycation. Staycation, honey. Yes. Yes. I need to vacate. Vacate. That's right. That's right. All right. But I do understand. You know, financial sometimes. But you know, a staycation is good too. Right. You can be home in, in home. No social media. Yes. Yes. That has that you know times have changed, but social media social media has consumed us. A lot if we of look at how much time we spend checking our phones, even checking post, emails, checking your emails, <laughs> posting on Instagram, <laughs> follow girls podcast. That's right, that's right. And so even that sometimes you just have to take a break, um, and it is very hard to find a balance. It may not be an even balance. Right. Because work, you that know, we true. have to work. So, you know, work may take up more percentage of your time. But you have to find if it's five minutes, ten minutes a day sometimes for yourself. Yeah. And again, yeah. like I said, that kickboxing class or whatever your stress reliever is, we have you have to find it. Otherwise you're gonna look back and and your kids are grown. And you didn't get to do a lot of things that you wanted to travel. You enjoyed traveling. Oh my gosh! And so, but next episode to... travel, <laughs> right? But you have to find time for that. Even if it's a quick day to the spa, you know, oh. to have a facial done, a massage done, or something. Because if you don't, you're gonna burn yourself out. I'm actually really glad that you said that, Karen. One thing that they say in the airlines when you are um, getting ready to take off is, with we do lose pressure 
to put your mask on first and then help others. Because mm -hmm. if you are not taking care of yourself, if you do not have your own oxygen, how can you help anybody mm -hmm. else? Mm -hmm. And you need to take that into your everyday life. If you don't take care of yourself, if you don't pamper yourself, even if it's getting your nails done, your toes done, your eyebrows done, your eyelashes nowadays, <laughs> right? <laughs> if you don't take mm -hmm. care of you, who is going to? Mm -hmm. exactly. and, and the airplane, airline said it best. <laughs> exactly. Put your mask, mask on, on first. <laughs> And then help others. Girl. But we, but that is so true. And we don't do that. Mm -hmm. We don't. We take care of everyone around us. You know, our bosses, right. our jobs, right. our kids, our spouses, our, you know, our parents or grandparents or whoever that we find time that we don't have time. To, and then when it comes down to our time, then we run out of time. Right. And so there has to be some type of balance. Like I said, it's not going to be even balance. Mm -mm. No. Um, but if it's five minutes in the bathroom, you know, and your kids outside the door, <laughs> like I've heard some moms, they sit outside before they come in the house <laughs> just for 15 minutes. For 15 I ain't minutes. mad at you, mom. Right. I ain't mad at right. you. You get right. it where you get in, where you fit in. Exactly. And if that works, that works. But at least you are taking that time, that mental time for yourself. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. if not, you can't take care of other people. So, um, we just wanted to do kind of give you a quick s snapshot that it is such a thing as work life balance. It may not be what you think it should be or what someone else may think it should be, but you at least have to find time for us girls right. and yourself and doing things that make you happy. Like she said, she took up kickboxing. I enjoyed it. You know, getting your nails done, getting your feet done, and yep. just relaxing. I, I look at so many people, and if I'm getting my nails done and my feet done, they're on social media. They're still they're, engaged. They're still yep. engaged. They're on the phone. They're, and, and maybe that's what they have to do. But if you just take that 15 minutes while you're in the chair or 30 minutes in your chair, and you'll relax. be surprised. Be pampered. Uh, right. A lot of massage chairs like <laughs> just shaking. <laughs> um, it, it helps in the long run. So Yeah, because, you know, everybody is an A-team player, especially when it comes to their job. They put their best foot forward. Their name is stamped on it. So we give our all in our job. Why not do the same with our off time and giving to ourselves? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. I think that was, you know, hey. Girl. And, uh, and girl. And have a drink here and there, too. That will help. <laughs> we are. All right.